Hello again, everyone. The Braves started a stretch of 13 games in 13 days with a pair of rain delays tonight in Cincinnati. The first rain delay came in the game with the Reds leading 1-0. Check out this young lady. Her name is Robin Habish. The only problem was that, uh, well, the other ground crew member in Cincinnati did not wait up for her. And there she is. And she gets a big cheer from the crowd. They go nuts. Just talk to Robin. Even hey, former Bulldog and Reed Ann High School graduate Brandon Phillips Brandon gives her a hug. Right now, it's 3-1 to to one Reds in the sixth inning. Away. All right, well, John Smoltz will not pitch against the Braves this season. He's got one more rehab start at AAA Pawtucket tomorrow. And his first start for the Red Sox would then be tentatively set for Thursday, June 25th in Washington against the Nationals. That would eliminate the Smoltz-Braves matchup in Boston this weekend or next weekend in in Atlanta. You think John Smoltz was worried about that? I couldn't be disappointed about anything at this point. Um, you know, even if somebody told me I had to wait another month. Uh, again, I, I've worked really hard to get to this, this point of either anticipating another start and, and regardless of who I pitch against and whatever the outcome is, it's all part of a process. Well, the Pittsburgh Penguins win in the Stanley Cup Finals officially concluded the hockey season, but still plenty of skating going on at the Thrashers practice facility in Duluth. The Thrashers are conducting their annual goalie camp with help from assistant coach Steve Weeks and goaltender Kari Lettinen. Also on hand is Eric Bolton, who's pretty intense on the ice, but enjoys working with the kids during the offseason, especially his own. It brings back a lot of memories. Uh... I've been up in the rink uh, almost every day. My son plays hockey now, so it feels like uh, feels like I live here. So now I know how my parents felt. But uh, it's a good time, and uh, we enjoy working with the kids. All right, this week is the U.S. Open Championship. Tiger Woods looking for a number of repeats. Woods won last week. He also won last year's Open and won the last time the U.S. Open was played on Beth Page Black in 2002. Woods will be seeking his 15th major golf victory this weekend. That would be stupendous. Tonight's word of the day from Twitter was stupendous and was suggested by at Lindsay Kintz. I'm Corey Anderson. The CBS Atlanta News at 11 continues after this.